Okay, imagine this. You're a fresh graduate who's on a tour at a tech company you've been dreaming to start your career, Microsoft. You're taking an elevator to go up and you saw one person at the elevator. And that person is no other than Mr. Bill Gates. You finally have a chance to impress him and ask for a job opportunity. It's a short elevator ride so you don't have much time and you have to come up with a way to impress him under 60 seconds. What will you do? Hi, I'm Freddy from PSB Academy Student Affairs and Industry Engagement and today I'd like to share with you how to use the technique called elevator pitch. Now, not to be mistaken, an elevator pitch is not about selling elevators. It is a short and concise introduction about yourself, your skills, and your goal that is enough to present during a brief elevator ride. An average elevator ride is about 30 to 60 seconds. Every new encounter could be the one that makes all the difference. That is why you need to have an elevator pitch that is so well memorized you can present anytime an opportunity comes knocking. Let's get into it. Your elevator pitch is made out of four sections. Who you are, what you do, how you're different, and what your goals are. First thing first, who you are. Your success depends on the strength of your first few words. So start with a simple statement that quickly grabs the attention of other persons and piques their interest. Here's an example. As a child, I've always been intrigued by the circuit in the computer. That is why I took up a degree in electronic engineering from ABC University. Next, you talk about what you're doing currently. It can be your personal experience, your most recent project, or your current job. Here's an example. My most recent experience was with my final year project in school and the topic I took up was on rain alarm circuit. I'm also an active member of the Institution of Engineering and Technology. Next, you explain what makes you stand out among other job seekers. I am somewhat of a go-getter when it comes to solving problems due to my curious personality and that is always my approach to resolving issues, which is to take initiative instead of waiting around for my supervisors to help me out. Finally, you conclude by talking about how you align your goal with the company. I hope to kickstart my ideal career in tech industries and I couldn't think of a better company that could provide me with that opportunity. That's why I like to find out if your company would consider looking at engineering graduates. I can see myself contributing and growing together with Microsoft for many years to come. Combining all four sessions, you get an elevator pitch that you can present under 60 seconds. As a child, I've always been intrigued by the circuit in the computer. That is why I took up a degree in electronic engineering from ABC University. My most recent experience was with my final year project in school and the topic I took up was on rain alarm circuit. I'm also an active member of the Institution of Engineering and Technology. I am somewhat of a go-getter when it comes to solving problems due to my curious personality and that is always my approach to resolving issues which is to take an initiative instead of waiting around for my supervisor to help me out. I hope to kickstart my ideal career in the tech industries and I couldn't think of a better company that could provide me with that opportunity. That's why I'd like to find out if your company would consider looking at engineering graduate. I can see myself contributing and growing together with Microsoft for many years to come. You can use this technique in other areas like your CV summary, an answer to tell me about yourself during an interview, and last but not least, your business pitch. Now before I end the video, here are some key takeaways for your elevator pitch. Keep it short and sweet. Remember, your time is limited. Be sure you can deliver your message in 60 seconds or less. Focus on the essentials. Make sure you only focus on four sections. Who you are, what you do, how you're different, and what your goals are. Keep it natural and positive. When you're delivering your pitch, make sure it doesn't sound too pre-prepared, even though it is. Last but not least, practice. Practice your pitch with your friends or family and fine-tune it as you go along. Thanks for watching. As always, don't just learn it, apply it. See you in the next video.